His clumsiness and unmistakable holler have made him one of the most popular cartoon characters of all time. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the origins of Goofy. This iconic Disney creation first made his debut on May 25, 1932 in the Mickey Mouse cartoon Mickey's Review. Originally named Dippy Dog, he was an audience member of the music show who gleefully annoyed the other spectators. Drafted by Frank Webb and developed by Disney animator Art Babbitt, this version of Goofy was a gullible simpleton and a friendly hick. What also set him apart from the character we know and love today was that he was an old dog with a white beard and a puffy tail. However, despite these differences, Goofy did show off his trademark laugh, which was provided by voice actor Pinto Kolvig. <laughs> Soon enough, he was redesigned as the younger character who appeared as a joyous guest at the Whoopie Party. <laughs> By the time he took part in 1934's Orphan's Benefit, he was finally rebranded as Goofy to better represent his personality. <laughs> Goofy's popularity made him a Disney staple, and he went on to form a comedy trio alongside his pals Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Their first romp together was the classic cartoon short, Mickey's Service Station. At your service, sir! <laughs> you break them, we fix them. <coughs> this led to further misadventures in shorts like The Moving Day and Clock Cleaners. Fans loved Goofy thanks to his clumsy, dim-witted demeanor, and this made him one of Disney's most popular characters. Gosh, <coughs> I didn't know you was a lady. Pardon me. Soon, he became recognizable for his new look, which included a hat, pants, a long sleeve shirt, and a vest. However, despite being a man-dog hybrid with the ability to speak, Goofy continued to generate confusion from audiences thanks to his similarity to Pluto, Mickey's pet pooch. Since much of the comedy trio's humor came from Goofy and Donald, the two became their own team with 1938's Polar Trappers, where the pair survived on canned beans while stationed in the Arctic trying to capture walruses. <laughs> Goofy proved capable of carrying much of the comedy, so he was given his own solo cartoon outings beginning with 1939's Goofy and Wilbur. Gosh, Wilbur, I thought you was a goner. When Goofy's voice actor departed the studio that same year, Disney decided to recast the character in a string of how-to cartoons where he developed his iconic Goofy holler. By 1942's How to Play Baseball, the supporting characters surrounding Goofy were made to resemble him in an attempt to normalize his world. Kolvig returned as Goofy's voice in 1944, and the character soon transformed into a family man, complete with the full name George Geef, which implied that Goofy was just a nickname. Geef! Take that coat out of here! The character also became smarter, lost his droopy ears, and was given shrunken facial features and a much more normal sounding voice. But boss, look, I don't have a cold. That's true! However, those changes couldn't keep Goofy in the spotlight. And by the time 1965's educational film Goofy's Freeway Troubles rolled around, his popularity had faded. Ha! Oh, what a worry wart! Look at the old fuss budget! What made this even sadder was that the man behind his voice passed away just two years later. With other actors replicating his speech, Goofy re-emerged in 1983's Mickey's Christmas Carol as Jacob Marley. Oh, oh, gosh, kinda slippery. <laughs> this led to his appearance in 1987's Sport Goofy in Soccer Mania and a brief cameo in the next year's Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Did you see that? Nobody takes a wallop like Goofy! What timing! What finesse! What a genius! The 1992 TV series Goof Troop was a successful attempt to introduce the character to a new generation. Dr. Liverworth here says the color can raise your baby's IQ 140 points. 
Your kid's gonna be a rocket scientist. There, he assumed the role of a single father who lived with his son Max and his cat Whiskers. That victory spawned 1995's A Goofy Movie and its follow up, 2000's An Extremely Goofy Movie. Ah! Adios, Devil flip to a head, but no! Oh! Goofy's next role was as a head waiter on The House of Mouse, where he balanced his traditional Disney persona and his fatherly relationship with Max. Where's your dad? Now that's parallel parking. <laughs> Today, Goofy continues to appear in the early childhood education program, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. That was a whole lot of fun! Yippee! <laughs> and in cameos in various Disney-licensed video games like Kingdom Hearts. An icon of the Walt Disney Company, Goofy remains one of the most famous animated characters in the world. Despite his age, he continues to entertain generations of children with his hilarious personality, antics, and unforgettable holler. Are you a Goofy fan? What's your favorite appearance by the Silly Pooch? For more entertaining character origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Down, up, and we're through. A lot. <laughs>